here covering the premiere of season one of Preacher on AMC. Probably my all-time favorite comic book, and I cannot wait to see what happens here with the full cast and crew. This is going to be an amazing day and an amazing set of interviews. We're going to talk to Dominic Cooper. We're going to talk to, to Seth Rogen. I can't wait to ask him about magic cards, because I play, and, and he has his face on a magic card. We're going to do that. So stick around. We'll get some awesome interviews, and we'll see you guys in just a second. Ben Bateman here with the Popcorn Talk Network, talking to Ruth Mega. How are you, ma'am? I'm well. How are you? I'm very, very well. Playing at a badass woman on television with a gun seems to be at an all-time high right now. Are you looking forward to the world seeing this on television, seeing you go full, full tilt badass? Yes. <laughs> no, yeah, I am. I am. Because she's fun and it's tongue in cheek. It's not serious, you know. Um, I hope that everyone like appreciates the fact that like. She's just like, um, she's a woman that knows herself and she's happy within herself and there's no immediate demons there, you know, like when we see a lot of badasses, we all, there's always some sort of like backstory that's like, you know, a bleeding harsh, but this, this girl like, she's really happy that she's a badass and she's, she's unapologetic and that, that to me is a relief. Now, I'm assuming you've read the comic book. I have, yeah. Was there any part of you reading it that felt disconnected from the character because she's a blonde Caucasian, that they changed that for casting at all? Not really. No, no, not at all, because um, her humor is there. Her um, Everything is there. It's just, you know, it's just a different body. Of course, I yeah. Don't think, I don't think that's really relevant. No, not at all. I just, I just thought I'd ask. Um, now, as far as the full story, Tulip's full history, the backstory we find out later in the comic book, uh, is that stuff that you go into those early scenes knowing that the audience doesn't know, but you know they're going to actually find out? Or do you have to play the character thinking, we may never know that stuff? Oh, well, I, I knew, I did know, I did, I was aware of it, but I think, I think, I think it's very important to know those things, and it's not a motivating factor in one's performance, but I think it's just, it's in the, you know, it's in the, it's in one's head. Um, but um, I think it it can it can only inform your performance. It can't dictate it, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Now you came from The Misfits, and your co-star who plays Cassidy happened to be on that show as well. Where is he? Where is that He's just right over here. Look at this charmer with the hat. <laughs> Was that a lot of fun to get to step back in with a friend, someone you'd worked with in the past? Well, yeah, because you know. Working with Joe is just like a, such a pleasure because he's such an intelligent performer and also he is he's intent on being um, truthful and and that's that really does make a difference. He's a, a truthful performer but he's, and that means that whatever you get you get to play with and it's very fun. Well, I cannot wait to see your Tulip O'Hara. Thank you so much for I talking so. to me, Ruth. Thank you. Such a pleasure. I love your bow tie. Thank you. <laughs> so lovely. Congratulations. Yeah.